All right, in this video, let's go ahead and add a relationship between our two tables, the person called car as well as person. So the idea is that one person can only have one car and one car can only belong to one person. So if I describe our tables in our database called test, you can see that we have two tables, car and person. So what we're going to do in this video is drop these two tables because I want to remove the entire data in it as well as create the actual tables from scratch. Now let's go ahead and drop and then table. So you've seen this before person and let's also drop the car table. So just like that. And now if I press backslash D and then T you can see that no relations found. Now go ahead and download this file right here, which you can find in the resources link and it's called person dash and then car dot SQL. So this will be our file that we're going to edit and add the relationship between person and car. So right now it's just what you've seen before, right? So this was the person table and this is the actual car table. And what we want to get out from this is that a person can have one car and a car can only belong to one person. So to do that, we need to add a new column. So this column will serve as the referencing column to the car table, i.e. the foreign key. So to do that, let's go ahead and simply say car and then underscore ID. Now I need to specify the actual data type. So I can't simply just go, go ahead and say big serial because big serial is a special data type which is managed by a sequence. And instead what I need to use is big and then int. So they are pretty much the same in terms of the actual size, but the difference is that big serial is a special type which is managed by a sequence. Now we could also go ahead and say not and then no. But the reason why we're not doing this in this column is because a person may not have a car, right? Not every single person has a car until they become 18 or 16 in some cases. So I'm going to remove that. And now to add the foreign key or the relationship between person and car, I need to add references and then I need to specify the actual table. And now I need to specify to which column this car ID will reference. So in our case, so simply within parentheses, simply say ID. So this ID right here is this one right here. And this ID is our foreign key. Now remember, I also said that a car can only be owned by one person which means that we can add a unique constraint and the way that you add unique constraints within your table creation is simple by saying unique and then pass the actual column so car underscore id and this is all so now go ahead and save this and now what we need to do is to execute these two table creations plus the inserts now, if I was about to pretty much just insert this table first, this would fail. And that's because this cart table doesn't exist. So just let me show you if I grab that and then go back to item, paste that. And you can see that right here, relation cart does not exist. So I'm going to clear the screen and then go back to VS Code. And what I'm going to do first is create this table called car. And I'm just going to put it first right here and make sure you have this exact same setup. So just like that. And then say this, you could go ahead and pretty much just copy and paste all of that. But what I'm going to do is execute from a file. So backslash I, and then the destination is users forward slash amigos code and then forward slash downloads forward slash and then person dash and then car dot SQL. Now I'm going to press enter and you can see that no errors and we have three people and two cars. So let's go ahead and check. So select and then start from car. You can see that we have two cars and let's go ahead and select start 
from an end person. And you can see that we have three people. And right here, you see that we have this new column called car ID, which we haven't assigned to anybody. And this is all for this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop me a message. Otherwise, join me in the next video where we're going to assign a car to a person. Join me there. See ya.